Hey, check it out. We're out here finishing another one of our lob bar tops. Now I've had a bunch of questions about how I'm putting these edges on these things. So I thought today would be a perfect time to show you three easy ways to edge log furniture. Check this out. Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. So, here we've got a custom milled order. It consists of a large four and a half inch live edge mantle, this 14 inch live edge shelf, and these two 1x8s. They've all been milled from the same tree, so they'd match. Today, we're going to demonstrate how you can do a roundover edge using our router and these roundover bits. Then I'll show you how we use this draw knife to create a hand hewn edge. Then we'll go to our seven inch angle grinder and I'll show you how to put on a rustic chamfered edge. You can find router bits in a variety of sizes and profiles. Today we're going to be using this 1 8 inch roundover bit. And the nice thing about these bits is they come with this little bushing that allows you to quickly and easily achieve a rounded edge. So that's how we achieve this nice rounded over edge with our router. But when you're working with traditional live edge log furniture, you're going to need one of these. It's a draw knife, and when you're first getting started with a draw knife, you're going to want to take time to practice on a scrap piece. See how that did that? So I'm going to come back this way. It just takes a little time, and before you know it, you'll be able to read the grain in any piece of wood. If you're looking for a refined, clean edge, pull long strokes. For a more rustic, hand-hewn edge, use short strokes. All right, so that's how you use a draw knife to create a hand-hewn edge. And you may have noticed down here we've got these, these knots where these limbs were growing. So this is a perfect time to show you how we use our angle grinder to finish out an edge. So this is my 7 inch angle grinder and for woodwork I like to use these Diablo abrasive discs. They're much like sandpaper, they come in a variety of grits. Here I'm using an 80 grit. And this is also the perfect tool to edge these ingrains. To achieve the perfect chamfered edge, tilt your angle grinder on a 45 degree angle and make one pass.
If you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more, click subscribe now and come see me over at logfurniturehowto.com. And if you're interested in purchasing one of these handcrafted, custom milled log decor sets, come see me over at coloradospringsawmill.com. Thanks for watching. See you next week.